Hey everybody, it's Joanne from Artsy Light Tarot. Thanks for checking out this message. I'm going to be doing a love reading for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I'm going to tap into the energies of love that are surrounding you at this time. See what message your angels and guides have for you. So if you're a cross watcher here, please remember flip switch the energies rolls. Don't force these messages as it's a collective reading. If you're interested, I do have personals. The email is provided in the description box below. Happy birthday to the Libras celebrating their birthday at this time. Thank you for watching my content. I would appreciate it if you would subscribe, interact with this media. That would be greatly appreciated. What's the energy of love surrounding Libra at this time? So I'm going to pull Oracle and then I will clarify your person with Tarot. So the energy of love, ooh, endings bring new beginnings. So transformation, death energy, maybe dealing with Scorpio and picking up Scorpio energy here. It's about transition, growth, liberation. So I do feel that there's something closing out in your energy in regards to love at this time. You're not focused on love. You don't have faith in love at this time. You're focused on other things. Cupid's arrows in the reverse. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, meeting, or hesitation. Um, I do feel that you have been disappointed in regards to love. That's being very highlighted here. Um, and that you are not focused on love at this time. So let's see. I'm going to do a Celtic cross to clarify this energy that surrounds you in regards to love. So I call upon Libra's angels guides to protect the collective. What is it that they need to know about the energies that are surrounding them at this time? The first card will be the anchor. Second card is the challenge. What is the energy of love surrounding Libra? I was going to check on the person that's connecting to you, but I think there's bigger messages that you're not focused on love at this time. Two of pentacles in the reverse is Capricorn energy. You have decided to move towards something other than love. Love is not the motivation for you at this time. You're not interested in being played. You're not interested in people's games, right? You're grounded in a different direction at this time. So two of pentacles is the anchor and that is Capricorn energy. There's a choice that you're making to move in a different direction. You're letting... The idea of finding love at this time set to the wayward, you're not focused on it. But then bottom of the deck, we do have the four of wands. So you may be moving towards a relationship without realizing it. I think that's pretty much um, when you're not looking is when you find it. Bottom of the deck, four of wands mm, could be, could be moving towards an Aries is what I'm getting here with that four of wands. There could be an Aries coming into your energy after some type of painful ending. This is the Empress, eight of wands. This person that's coming towards you in regards to love is wanting to put some commitment or effort into a connection with you, but there's fear attached to them as well. They're not interested in wasting their time. However, they are making movement towards you. We've got the Empress Four of Wands. Could be a Taurus Aries cusp. The person that's moving towards you in love is your Divine Feminine. So that does not mean this reading is only for a male. This is for the embodiment of the Emperor and Empress, which is true soulmate connection. And it's validated with four of wands. So it's something that is going to be built. There's harmony here. There's beauty, devotion, commitment, nurturing, loving energy. But there's fear attached to it from your person as well. So you're both focused on other things at this time. Well, I feel, Libra, you're coming together with an energy of new love. What is the challenge for Libra in, in this energy of love that surrounds them? Right? You have changed and have grown a lot from your previous relationship. You're open. Um, you're able to start a new beginning because you've healed a certain chapter of your life, even though that's not what you're focused on at this time. What is the challenge for Libra? So we've got two of pentacles, two of wands, two, two, two. So twos are about decisions, right? It's about letting something go. It's about an ending. She's holding the world in her hand. The world signifies a new cycle and ending of a previous one. She's looking at the moon and the moon is about fear and illusions. The moon is also Pisces energy and it's Venus embodied, right? It is love, staring down the face of love, choosing to let go of what did not serve you, being open to the divine and the gifts that are still out there for you so even though you're not focused on that inside of you you know that you are being divinely guided towards your counterpart seven of cups bottom of the deck 
it's a um, Seven of Cups is Scorpio energy, heavy Scorpio, but I'm drawn to the star here. It's almost like an Aquarius energy wish fulfillment. It's like recognizing that you do have all of these other options, even though something from the past didn't work, doesn't mean that the future is shut down to you. So it's changing a perspective with that Seven of Cups and the Hierophant. You are going to have options in regards to love. There's a commitment here with that Hierophant, Taurus energy, Scorpio energy is what I feel. Nine of Swords in the reverse. There's healing here. The person that's coming towards you has been seeking you. You are seeking this person. It is wise investment. So I do feel that you have a grounded energy coming towards you that is going to bring a very serious love offer into your life that is going to be very balanced after some painful ending. Like I said, you could have released a water sign. Two of Wands is Aries energy as well. Not going to lie. I feel that you're moving towards a fire sign. Libra and Aries, I believe, are counterparts in regards to energy. So like I said, you could be moving towards fire sign. doesn't have to be, but it's a wise investment. So your challenge at this time is accepting, you know, even in the face of fear, fear of you know, repeating past cycles, you're open to it because you have grown. So don't be hesitant in regards to love. It's about trusting yourself, knowing that you are on this new path of expansion. You have increased your vibration. You've healed something. Show me the energy of the recent past for Libra in regards to this message. What do they need to know about the recent past? What does Libra need to know about the recent past in regards to love? Hangman in the reverse. So that's Pisces energy. You may have felt sacrificed in a previous relationship. The hangman in the reverse is about sacrifice. That's what I'm picking up here. Someone sacrificed you and that caused movement. Movement towards these new beginnings, towards growth, change, liberation. There was an ending here. You were sacrificed. But you were sacrificed because you weren't meant to continue to move with this person. You had um, learned your lessons. It was about moving towards your next expansion, towards this next cycle. There was a painful ending. And at times you did feel sacrificed but it was for your greatest and highest good that's what you don't see the seven of swords page of pentacles is showing me that there is a new opportunity but there's fear attached to it so you're going to invest in this new person when they come in but you are definitely going to be hesitant because of past fears but also because you know your value and your worth now. So you're not in any rush to attach yourself to someone else because you have lost time in the past. Someone did sacrifice you is what I'm getting. Could it be a water sign? What is the energy surrounding Libra that they are not aware of? What's the energy surrounding Libra that they are not aware of at this time? The world, it's all in there. Sacrifice, new beginning, cycles, new cycle, ending of a painful cycle, movement towards something new beautiful energy and that is of the recent past so there's an acceptance there's a trusting you are in the flow of the universe with that world energy after feeling sacrifice but changing perspective libra is what i'm getting you recognize that you're meant for something so much more right from this ending brings new beginnings of growth change liberation transitions beautiful energy with that world not surprised to see that there and then we've got the five of pentacles on the bottom of the deck in the reverse for that a recent past energy you are coming out of this place of lack you may have felt abandoned right there was sacrifice but it was for your greatest good you might have felt empty for a period of time but now you're blossoming towards this new beginning seeing the situation sorry my alarm went off annoying so five of pentacles in the reverse, that's Taurus energy. Queen of swords is Aquarius. It is changing perspective, seeing something different. You've elevated something. You're a thinker as well. Of course, you are your Libra. You are a sword energy. You are air. So you're a very logical individual, but you do feel this transition. Do you feel this increase in your vibration as you move towards something new is what I'm getting here. What is? Show me the energy of the person that is connecting to Libra. Who is this person that's coming towards Libra in love? Does Libra need to know about this energy of love coming towards them? Two of swords. We've got twos all over, but they're in the reverse. So it's like, I feel it's divine connection. It's like in the flow, not forcing. Twos are about making a decision, but they're in the reverse. So I feel like it's all part of this bigger picture of expansion. Two of swords is Libra energy. It is your energy. Nine of swords, Gemini energy. It's healthy. Right, you're coming out of this place of scarcity, of abandonment, of sacrifice, but that's not the way it is. You see it clearly now. 
you're moving towards something that's more in alignment with where you're supposed to be headed, better investment of time and energy. But the devil is always around, but there can be no light without the dark. It's making choices to move towards the light, even when you're in the dark, having your heart open, continuing to move with your heart open, Libra, is what I feel for the energy surrounding you. We've got King of Cups, King of Pentacles in the devil, right? So you must be very valuable to have such darkness attached to such light. So don't be afraid just because of the past with the justice in the reverse, the five of swords. What is searching for you or what you are searching for is searching for you. It is divine guidance is what I feel. I feel this is um, this is meant to be. What is the outcome of this message for Libra? What is the outcome or advice for Libra in regards to this energy of love that surrounds them, spirit? Star in the reverse. That's Aquarius energy. It is moving in a different way. Like you had to shift focus. Your wish fulfillment is not what it once was. You're kind of confused in regards to your direction. And I feel that's validated with this choice that's that's being displayed here. You do have choice, but ultimately I do feel that what's meant for you is coming towards you. So you are learning that. The devil is holding you back. Again, there is dark attached to you because the light on the other side of the dark is beautiful. So don't be afraid. It's about embodying the dark parts of you. You may have felt sacrificed in the past and that could have triggered something, could have triggered your ego. But you are now recognizing that you cannot have one without the other and you have learned to support yourself, to love yourself on this journey. You could have walked away from Aquarius, Capricorn energy. So for the outcome, the star and the devil, it's a big warning about not letting yourself sabotage what's meant for you right? It's releasing fear. It's being present and open, not sacrificing yourself. So you may be inclined to sabotage this relationship. But if you look at it from a different perspective, I think you will see that this is divinely guided towards you. The emperor. So we did have the emperor show up and now the emperor. This is divine connection, soulmate energy with that emperor. I feel that you're moving towards an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So that's what I have for you, Libra. Happy birthday. Please resonate. Let me know if this, uh, in the comments, if it is your story, if you claim it, like it. This is what I have for you. Please subscribe. Appreciate you so much, Libra. Take care.